I'm going to look at Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras' theorem is for right angle triangles, like the one I've drawn here, and it is used to work out the length of a missing side. So usually you'll know two sides, and you'll use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the third side of the right angle triangle. The theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in other words, when we square the two short sides and add them together, it'll be the same as the longest side squared. Okay, there's some fantastic applications you can use on the internet to see that visually using squares and so on. I'm just going to look at some examples of it today to make sure that you know how to use Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, um, so remember it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the two shorter sides, and c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the right angle. Okay, so here we've got a right angle triangle. We know that one short side is 3 centimetres. We know the other short side is 4 centimetres. And we're trying to find the longest side here, the hypotenuse. It's the one opposite the right angle. So let's label them. I know we need to label the smallest one A, the middle one B, and the longest one C. The most important thing is that you label the big side C. It doesn't really matter which way around you get the two shorter sides. I just tend to do it in what I think is size order. Okay, so remember Pythagoras' theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that means that we're going to square the two short sides, add them together, and that's the same as the longer side squared. So a squared, well a is 3, so it's 3 squared. b is 4, so that's going to be 4 squared. And we're going to add them together, and that will give us c squared. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. We'll add them together and that'll give us c squared. 9 plus 16 is 25 and that's c squared. So in other words, when you square this longest line c, you get 25. We now need to square root the 25 because the opposite of square is square root. So we square root the 25 and that will give us c. So the square root of 25 is 5. So c equals 5 centimetres. So you square the two short sides, you do 3 squared and 4 squared add them together, and then square root it, and then you get your answer of 5 centimetres. So the longest length of this triangle is 5 centimetres. Okay, let's look at another example. Uh, so again, we're trying to find the longest side of this right angle triangle, because it's the hypotenuse, so we'll call that C. The shortest side is A, 6, and the middle side is B, 8. Okay, so we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of C, the longest side. So we're going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, a is 6 and B is 8, so you get 6 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared, or X squared, so X squared. 6 times 6 is 36, and 8 times 8 is 64, and that adds together to give you X squared. 36 plus 64 is 100, so X squared is 100. Some people, some students at this point say the answer is 100, but let's look at the right angle triangle. 100 would be far too long for this side, so it doesn't quite make sense. It says x squared is 100, so we need to get rid of the squared, so we're going to do the opposite to both sides, so we're going to square root both sides. So the square root of 100 equals x. The square root of 100 is 10, so you get x equals 10. Now that makes sense now, so that would be 10 centimetres because it's the longest side. Okay, now this question is slightly different. It's given us the longest side. It's given us a hypotenuse this time of 16 and one of the short sides. So we've got to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the other short side. So let's label them. Well, 9 looks like it's the smallest, so let's call that A. 16 is definitely the longest, so that's C, it's a hypotenuse, and B is, or X is B. Okay, so let's use Pythagoras' theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is 9, so 9 squared plus B is X, X squared equals C squared, C is 16, so 16 squared, okay? 9 squared, 9 times 9 is 81, plus X squared equals 16 squared. Uh, if you know 16 squared is 256, that's great, otherwise you can get your calculator and do 16 squared equals 256. So, so we've got 81 plus x squared equals 256. Now you're going to want to solve this like you would solve any equation. You want to get rid of the 81 on this side, so you're going to want to take away 81 from both sides. Taking away 81 from the left hand side will leave you with x squared, 
and taking away 81 from the right hand side is 256 take away 81 equals 175 so you get 175 on the right hand side now you want to get rid of the x square you want to get rid of the square so you're going to square root both sides so square root of x squared is x and the square root of 175 the square root of 175 is 13.22875656 and the answer says so it's at 13.228 dot 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 so it's gone forever the original question said to one decimal place so that's going to be 13.2 centimeters to one decimal place so just run through the steps again um, label the sides a b and c Put them into Pythagoras' theorem, so A was 9, so you square that to get 81, B was X, so you get X squared, and C was 16, so you square that to get 256. Uh, then you solve it like any equation, you want to have X's on one side, numbers on the other. So you want to get rid of the 81, so you take away 81 from both sides of the equation to get just X squared equals 175. Then you want to get rid of the squared, so you square root both sides, so you get x equals the square root of 175, and then you get your answer. Alternatively, whenever you're using Pythagoras' theorem to find a shorter side, what you do is you square the two sides, the longer side and the short side, you square them, you take them away from each other, so you take them away, and then you square root it, and that gives you your answer as well. Okay, one last example. Uh, we've got a right angle triangle. Again, they've given us the longest side this time. So they've given us the hypotenuse, the C, is 35. Uh, the smaller side looks like the 17. A and B is the other short side. So we've, we've, we're trying to find a short side in this one. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. Remember Pythagoras' theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A is 17. Uh, B is X and C is 35. So you get 17 squared plus X squared equals 35 squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to square this 17 and 35 now. So get your calculator. 17 squared equals 289. So you get 289 plus X squared equals and square your 35. 1,225. So, we want to get x's on one side and numbers on the other. So we want to get rid of the 289 on the left hand side of the equation. So you're going to want to take away 289 from both sides of the equation. So that leaves you with x squared equals and take 289 away from 1,125. So take away 289 gives us 936. So x squared equals 936. We want to get rid of the squared, so we're going to square root both sides. So we square root this to give us x and the square root of 936. Whenever you square root 936, that will give us our answer. So that is 30.594, dot, 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 so it goes on. And then we're going to round it to one decimal place, so that will be 30.6 centimetres to one decimal place.